There are so many tutorial videos out there on how to get shaders for 1.16, but believe me, a lot of them are giving you bad stuff on your computer. Do I look like a guy who might do that? Maybe. Well, to be honest, this is a, this is a good tutorial. So, uh, let's just step right into it, and this is how. I mean, just look at the ambience when you have shaders on, it just looks fantastic. So there's four things in this video. Keeping your computer safe, installing Optifine, which is the base tool that is needed for all your shaders, installing the shaders itself, and then setting things up so that you can run your mods and your shaders at the same time. So I'll be showing you how to change these vanilla shaders into this. And isn't that a dramatic change? Check out all the curvature of the lights and those ambient occlusions and all the technical stuff that I don't actually understand. But all I know is that this looks amazing. And you know what? It really comes alive at night. Now, I don't know why my waterfalls turned green there on sunset must be some kind of bug. But do check out this candle lit shattered savanna biome at nighttime with the sunset behind it. Shaders makes your world come alive. Now before we do actually start, only 4% of my viewers are subscribed. I didn't make this video just as a quick clickbait AdSense sort of a how to get shaders video. I actually want you guys to subscribe because there is a lot of awesome content on this channel. We do have a full guide on the fastest way to get ancient debris for your netherite armor as well as getting the best enchants possible on all your tools. A tutorial for an awesome looking villager breeder system that is fully automated as well as a system where you can turn your villagers into zombies, to villagers again, into a zombie villager again for maximum trade value, and then setting them up in this awesome looking, well, I guess it looks basic, but that's the whole point. It's a natural looking trading hall that works perfectly. Last but not least, this is an iron golem farm, and yes, it does look like a villa. Right, it's time to speed things up. Let's start with the tutorial. Well, first of all, I would totally recommend that you install some sort of protection for your computer. Uh, Bitdefender used to be free, I couldn't find the free link, so I would recommend Avast, because uh, that's totally free. It's avast.com, right there, top left. Why? Because, um, well, these downloads, they come in .jar and .zip files, which may contain things that may harm your computer. So, uh, it's better to be safe than sorry, to be honest, so... Download them first, I highly recommend that. Second of all, download from trusted sources. Now, I will link the trusted sources on my description section below, but I'll also add notes on several downloads which I am not quite sure of that I, I actually downloaded from them, but uh, do so at your own risk. But some of them, I will, if, if it's super safe, I will say so. Now, first of all, you're gonna need to install Optifine. Optifine is the tool that allows these shaders to work, right? So, um, Optifine, well, the latest version that is available is for 1.14. And have you seen uh, videos showing, oh, uh, Optifine shaders for 1.16 from like 10 days ago? That's an absolute lie because Optifine for 1.16 wasn't released yet. However, if you click these preview versions button up top, you can see that you have preview versions for 1.15 and 1.16 as well. Now, preview versions aren't stable. There will be glitches and bugs, and things like that, but I, I don't care. As long as it works, as long as I can get the shaders, that's fine. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for maybe another six months before you get a stable version. So, uh, these pre-releases are absolutely fine. So, what we're going to do here is, step one, we're going to download Optifine 1.16 pre-version 2. Now, by the time you see this, this may have changed. Maybe there's Optifine 1.16.1 preview version 25 or something like that. Or maybe you're looking at this video in the future when there's already Minecraft 1.50 or something like that. The same method. It's always the same method, all right? Okay, so first things first, you click on download. That will, uh, download the file in case you don't know. Now this is the important part, right? Uh, don't get fooled by the screen. Don't click anything else. There's going to be an ad down below. Don't click the ad. You'll see at the, uh, the top right section there was the please wait 3, 2, 1 sort of thing. Just click the skip button on the top right and then just wait a little while. Uh, well, okay, now we're back at the Optifine website and then you can download this .jar file. Now, .jar files are extremely dangerous if you download them from random places. That's why I, I highly recommend that you actually download, uh, well, one of those protections for your computer, right? So, uh, once you click download, it'll take you to an ad page. However, a download should start at the bottom. If it does not, all you need to do is click back like I just did here and then click on the download button again. And then finally, as you can see, 
Optifine has been downloaded. Now, you can see a warning on the bottom left of your screen. This type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep uh, this file anyway? So you'll want to keep, uh, click, you'll, you'll want to click keep, right? Okay, so now you have that file. Now what you want to do here is run the jar file. Now for the other jar files, later on, okay, just a lot of people skip videos, right? Don't skip videos or you're going to get your computer f this jar file is fine, you can open it, but the other ones like from shaders and stuff, you don't even need to open it, okay? This is the only one that you need to open, so keep that in mind. Maybe Forge as well, but anyway, this one first. So double click on that, and then you should have an install thingy here going on and then you'll click install. Right, so Optifine is successfully installed. Great, that is the first step. Click OK and then that's done. Now open up Minecraft and you can see a few things change. Now first of all, you won't see this mods button. This mods button will appear once you install Forge, which I will show you in a second. What you should check for here is go to options and to confirm that Optifine is installed, go to video settings and you can see that the whole thing has changed. It's a lot fancier now and the important button to see here is you have a shaders button and if it's a fresh install you'll only have the internal shader off and internal so uh, this is to confirm that you already have Optifine installed great now the next thing that we want to do is install forge first before we actually install the shaders why uh, it's, uh, it's I think it's more intuitive that way and well mods are cool some mods are really cool so I'll show you how first of all close up Minecraft and go back to your browser window if you Google up Forge, the first thing that will show up is Minecraft Forge, which is the correct link. Don't don't download it from anywhere else. What you want to do is download the latest version. This one here, on, by default, is on 1.15.2. You'll want to change that to 1.16, of course, and go to 1.16.1. And what you'll want to get is the installer, which is this button here. It says installer, right? So you're going to click that. It's, it's the same sort of thing where you uh, wait three seconds for this add to all right okay you have the skip button now you click on that and after that is clicked you'll see that forge is now well okay keep that now this is this file is fine you can double click this file any other jar do not click it um, yeah just it's just too much risk yeah, the next time you open phub you don't want somebody uh, watching you stroke your pickaxe so uh, that's already opened and let's see if it's getting installed if you don't see it, it might be in the background, so you might need to alt tab. Oh, it's on my taskbar down here. This is the installer for Forge, and what you'll want to do is install client, and then click OK, and then just wait for the process to finish, and then that's it. Now, I'm not going to click OK twice, just because I've already installed it. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll click OK for you. That's that's what it looks like, so it's uh, it's building up all the processes. It can take a while, of course but just wait for it it's 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 not too long and once that's done you'll have forge and optifine both installed on your computer and that means steps one and two is complete yeah okay successfully installed client profile forge for 1.16 blah 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 okay and now you'll want to open up minecraft again so now what you want to do is go to installations and uh, you'll see that there's a new setup made for you this is the usual one that you play with without uh, optifine or forge and afterwards you'll actually see an option for optifine once you install optifine and then you'll see an option for forge now the one that you'll want to use is forge because forge can run optifine along with it so if you're fine with that that's the way to do it but before we do that there's actually something else that you need to do and that is you need to put your optifine file in the mods folder of your minecraft folder i'll show you how now the easiest way to do this is just to load up your minecraft and once you're in minecraft you click single player and then you uh well back up one of your worlds for example this one here click edit make backup in case you don't have a backup yet if you have a backup you can skip that step because the whole point is so that you can open your backup folder so again uh, click edit and then you can open backups folder click on that button and as you can see now you're at your backups folder now the reason why I pointed you towards this direction is that there's other ways to do it like for example doing run and then doing app data and then finding it you see dot minecraft is right there you can open that as well that's the other way to do it but i'm aiming this at people who might be confused on how to do it so this is the easiest way so uh, from this backup folder you just need to back up one level 
uh, as in go one folder up to the dot minecraft folder and over here you should have a mods and a shader packs folder now if you don't have a mods folder and if you don't have a shaders pack folder all you got to do is make a new folder and name it mods and name it shaders pack now if you don't know how to make a new folder i'll make a video on that soon now actually you just uh, right click anywhere here click new and then click folder and then you just write it up subscribe for example but instead you'll want to write mods or shader packs so these are the two folders that you will need but for now i'm going to leave it as subscribe subscribe, subscribe. anyway uh, what you'll want to do is open up your mods folder and you'll want to copy your optifine uh, downloaded dot jar file into here so that forge can load it up if you're not sure how to do that, go to your downloads folder, find that preview underscore optifine file, control C to copy, and then control V to paste it into the minecraft.mods folder. Now that that bit's done, let's go download some shaders. Now, I'll show you the trusted ones. The ones that I don't really trust, I'm not gonna link, all right? So uh, keep you guys safe. So the first one that we're gonna install is Cius. Uh, this is a really good shader, but if you want the latest version, you can find it on Patreon, which is shown on the link above, patreon.com slash sonicether. In order to get the latest version of this, you're going to have to go for the $10 per month package, which might be expensive, so let's just download an older version, which still works, but is a little bit glitchy, but it works. So scroll down, and you'll find a download link here, CS Renewed 1.0.1. As you can see from the date, uh, that is before 1.16, so there will be glitches on this, but this is just so you know how to download a shader. So, click download. You'll see the zip file getting download down here. Now, you don't need to open the zip file. This is the beauty of downloading shaders and mods. You do not need to open the zip nor the .rar file. All you need to do is copy it. So, what I'll do here is I'll right-click on this zip file, and I will show in folder. And then I'll click copy over here and then we go back to our Minecraft folders where we will go to the shader packs folder and then we will hit control V and there you have it CS renewed is pasted into here so go back to your Minecraft launcher and don't forget on your installations to use the forge version and then click on play and then just wait for things to load up all right so we're in game on one of my wonderful seeds it's an awesome seed by the way do check out my seeds video village next to ice spikes now uh, it's time to turn on the magic. Press escape, hit the options button, video settings, and then go to shaders, and then select one of your shaders. Now the one that we just installed was CS Renewed V1.01. We'll click on that, wait for it to load up, and wow does that look beautiful. So this is what Minecraft with shaders look like. And again, personally I like CS the best, however my PC does not like it. Why? Because it is very resource intensive and I'll show you. Uh, my FPS shouldn't be too good. You can see that things are quite choppy. Now there's a few ways uh, for you to remedy this. If shaders are giving you issues, you can try lighter shader packs. And I'll show you how to download them as well. Or you can try a few other things, such as go to options, video, and you can reduce your render distance to around 8 chunks. And by the way, on shader settings for CS particularly, turn off anti-aliasing because they do their own anti-aliasing. So we should probably get slightly better frame rates here, but I'm running at 30 FPS here. So, I mean, that's not really ideal. I will upgrade my PC soon. So we're gonna turn on show FPS on the top left so you can see that all the time. Another trick that you can do if you wanna play with shaders but uh, still have a good frame rate is to just go down to maybe 720p. So let's try and do that and see if we get better results. So we're gonna try at 720p here to see if this makes things any better. We do have a 5 FPS, no, 10 FPS speed bump, which is quite okay. This looks good. Check out the reflections on the water. Now look at this, look at this. Ain't that beautiful. I mean, check that out. That is... I love it. Another cool feature of Optifine is the ability to zoom. My gosh, this looks wonderful. I have not played with... Oh my gosh, look at that sunset. Look at that. I have not played with shaders in quite a while, guys, and look at that. Wow. So I'm going to fly over to this shipwreck. This is one of my super seeds, by the way. Uh, you should check out those videos. Check that out. That That is picture-worthy material. Now, it even gets better once you go underwater. Check this out. 
Uh, I didn't go under the water yet because uh, I had to do something, but okay, check out that sunrise. Check out the water waves. This is from the shader. Ah, this, this looks so good. If only my PC can handle it. Now, we're gonna look underwater. Uh, I'm not sure if this version of Seuss's uh, shader already has that underwater sort of um, diffusion effect, but okay, let's have a look. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That looks spectacular, guys. That looks awesome. Swimming becomes more fun. Wow, look at that. And as we go closer to the surface, just, uh, yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. So, CS is the heaviest shader. Uh, it's the best one as well. So, let's try something different. Sildur's is a lot... Well, it's, uh... It's slider on your computer. So, let's try Sildur's shader. We're gonna try the extreme version here. See how that works out. So, here it is. This is Sildur's. Um, the FPS is quite the same, surprisingly. And, well, a lot more ambient occlusion going on here. I think that's what you call it. The... Um, flushed out lights. Sometimes I don't like that. Sometimes I don't like that. I'm gonna try and crank up my resolution and render distance. We're gonna go do this at 4K. Hopefully my PC doesn't explode. Okay, as it turns out, I have been running this whole thing on 4K. Uh, I, I, I can't change the resolution. I don't know why. I think it's something I installed. Uh, let me just try this again. I'm gonna go to 1080p. Did that actually change resolution wise? No, I'm still at 4K. So... I guess it runs okay at 4K, okay. Right, another shader that I wanna show you is BSL, and BSL is quite special because this is the shader that is used uh, on the Minecraft wallpaper arts. If you open their website, it's the BSL shaders that they use, and there's a special way to use it to make it look good. Now, I will show you this perhaps in a different video. I'll highlight the settings on how to make your Minecraft world look exactly like how the Minecraft wallpapers look like, which is actually pretty epic. Now, I did promise to show you how to install the other shaders for uh, Minecraft. Now, you can do this without even closing your Minecraft window. Just Alt-Tab into your browser. Right, so this is the link for the BSL shaders. You can see it up top here. I'll also put it on my descriptions if I'm not too lazy. Most of the time, I'm not too lazy, but who knows. So, BSL shaders, this is from CurseForge.com, which is a pretty uh, trustworthy website. So, uh, click on the download button on the right-hand side here. And what you'll do next is you don't want to download app. You just want to download. So, we'll click on download. Uh, actually, it's already downloading. Right, so once you already have that, just right-click. And then just uh, show in folder. And then you'll just want to copy it. Go back to your shader packs folder and all you want to do here is just control V and paste. You can do that while you are still in game. Again, no need to extract the zip files or the, the .jar files at all. This is all you need to do. Go back to Minecraft, get options, video settings, shaders, and you can see that that second copy of that BSL shader that I just downloaded is now here. Now, I'll link the downloads for the other shaders, but again, um, these are the only uh, two that I currently recommend to download and install. Chocapic and Sildurs are great as well. Just make sure you find a good source. I'm a bit wary about giving a link to it because there's just so many sh shady sites that re-upload their shaders and I, we don't know what they put in there. And do keep in mind that since this is a preview version, it can be glitchy. As you can see, my sword looks sort of like that. <laughs> so some shaders can be glitchy. So I'm back to my vanilla world and things look fine. And I do actually like the looks of vanilla Minecraft. Do consider subscribing to the channel. Lots of good stuff. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and the bell as well for notifications. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.